beautiful women. This is Emmy of Eloquently Emmy. And I'm here in my butterfly garden and it's very, very warm and humid, but I am so happy to be here and to be doing this eyeshadow tutorial for you. It was inspired by one of my favorite fiddle players, Martin Hayes. He's won several um, awards, I would say, I guess. I mean, it's just several, uh, two from the BBC, I know is like a like musician, um, of the year and some other things but you know what impresses me more is just the beauty of his playing and and just i i i just couldn't say good, thing, good, good things about it it's just so gorgeous his sound is just so beautiful um of course he plays irish music he's irish <laughs> i love irish music um but the way he does it is just so sweet and it's so um can't even think of a word to tell you to but it, it, it's just so in in tuned he's just so into the songs that he plays there's so much in them um, it's like it's like looking at something that um, that you've looked at a million times but then one time you pick it up and there's all this detail that you've never seen and it's the first time you've ever looked at it that way. Well, when you listen to his music, you may have heard these songs a whole bunch of times, but you've never heard them played the way he plays them. So I love him. I've been following him since I was in my 20s. I just think he is a fantastic musician. I enjoy listening to him. And so <laughs> getting to the point here, um, one of his first albums, um, was called Martin Hayes and there's a picture of him and you know he's looking good um, and but the artist and the artist who did the artwork in the background the backdrop for it I was so impressed by those colors and I was like look at those colors who would think to put those colors together and I thought to myself I want to try it and do it for you so um, yeah I'm, in this tutorial we're going to be mixing the colors that were on his album cover and we're going to go into some as if, some ginger, and some mi'iha, and uh, very unexpected and beautiful, and uh, with a special surprise at the end. So um, yeah, I hope you like this video, and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with our eyeshadow tutorial. This one's just going to be a fun one. Um, you know, based on Martin Hayes and his album cover. And here we are in my beautiful butterfly garden. And it's in the 80s and the humidity is right up there with it. So <laughs> we're going to do our best. But I don't think I could be in a more beautiful location um, if I tried. So I'm just going to go with the beauty of nature and, um, and let's get going with this. Okay, so let me tell you what I did do to save time on this... Um, tutorial is I did do my skincare and apply my sunscreen and of course I have my makeup on but um, for my eyes um, all I did was use my um, vintage selection matte um, MAC primer in the pot it's not matte it's I got it's got a little sheen to it. it's beautiful um, let me show you what it looks like and there it is okay yeah and so I just got this on and it really makes my makeup stay in place and I love it. And of course, um, what would be an eyeshadow tutorial without my holy grail of mascara L'Oreal Unlimited. And this is the waterproof formula, which is my favorite, especially for my line of work, professional photography, um, constantly putting the camera up to my face. I love this stuff. Um, yeah, so it's, it's wonderful and I can't say uh, more good things about it. And then I took my line brush from Saint and I dipped it into my coal and I just followed the line, natural line of my eyebrows. I flipped it over with the spoolie side and just spoolied it out to give it a natural look. Um, so that's what I did. So now we're going to get into the fun part with the colors and everything. I'm on a hill right now, so you can hear things sliding around. That's just, it's just part of the fun. <laughs> All right, so 
Okay, so I'm gonna start with my eyeshadow brush from Saint um, on the larger side and I'm going to dip into the vanilla dust. And I'm just going to put it, you know, on the whole eye area over the primer because what this does is it gives me a better blend with my eyeshadows. And for some of the fun colors we're gonna do today, I definitely want them blending. This is totally out of my comfort zone, but I loved, I loved the album cover and I was so inspired by the combination of colors and apparently the artist who created it was too. And um, yeah, it's just, I was like, that should totally be an eyeshadow look. All right, so now that I've done that, you can see how super easy that is. I'm gonna dip into the cupcake and the unicorn to create my canvas. And I just want a, a little lighter of a canvas going on. And that's what I'm doing here. And just, I think I've achieved that. See a little bit of light, you know, lightness here. Sorry about the light splotching, but it's just that time of the day. As long as my face is okay, I think we're good to go. All right, so now I am going to flip the brush over and I'm going to dip into my lullaby and I'm going to contour my eyes with it. And I'm gonna show you how you do this. Um, this is for if you have hooded eyes, um, which I do. Uh, I didn't always, but um, I guess in my 50s, yeah, I'm 55, um, you know, loss of collagen, I started getting a bit of a hood. Um, and some people are born with hooded eyes. So it's just, you know, you just work with the eye shape that you have and you can create some beautiful dimension when you do this technique. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna go into my natural crease and I'm gonna come down on a diagonal. Okay, and then I'm gonna do that to the other eye. Make sure you can see me. I'm coming in with my natural crease and then coming in on a diagonal. Okay, so you can already see now I've got, you know, a little more depth coming in here and I like that. So now, this is the, the important part. When you apply it this time, you're gonna look straight forward and you're gonna create an illusion crease, which is like this, okay? So this is above. This is above my natural crease. And yeah, and that's a good, that's a good job there. A little light splotch in there, sorry. But you can see how much more depth this eye has than this eye. Okay, so let me do the same thing to my other eye. Again, above the natural crease, if I'm looking straight ahead, I can see where I wanna um, create that shadow to give me more depth and, um, you know, create the illusion of eyes with more depth and dimension. And I think I've definitely achieved that right here. Okay, so I'm liking that a lot. Um, yeah, that's good. And we will, we will do some blending, but, um, yeah, right now we're just gonna kinda stay with, you know, what we're doing here. Um, <clears throat> all right, so next, I am going to <laughs> pick up on some of these colors that are in the album. And, yeah, let me just get my brushes out to the side here. I'm gonna grab my um, smudge brush and um, I'm gonna dip into the, um, the as if first, okay? And this is my smudge brush from Saint. This is the smaller side. Um, and I'm going to come right up here, not too high, but right on the outside with this beautiful purple. Don't be intimidated by the, the, you know, the pigmentation and the brightness of this. Um, it will all be okay when it's blended. And I have never mixed this specific color combination together, except to try it out for you beforehand, just to practice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just blend a little bit so you're not too, too freaked out with what's going on. <laughs> but anyway, this is what it's looking like now with the as if, okay? So, now, this is where I usually take Soulmate, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to, um, I don't know why I put down my brush, but anyway, I'm going to take the other side of the smudge brush and I'm going to dip into, of all colors, ginger. Okay. And I am going to take it right up next to the as if. Wow. 
All right. And a little bit right here. So if you look at the flowers behind me, you'll see that we've got some purple bees balm and some beautiful lantana here. And um, we've got the purple bees balm and the lantana. Well, that, that's happening with my eyes. So as well as <clears throat> mimicking nature, um, as, as well as mimicking the album, we're mimic, mimicking nature as well. And this is so, um, this is so pretty. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I don't think I would have ever thought to um, put these colors together. So far, color-wise, we have the As If, and then we have the Ginger. And I think that's really looking lovely. Um, I might even add a little more ginger. I just had to stop and kind of reposition myself because there was just, it was distracting having all those light splotches on me. And, and I was afraid that, you know, whatever, there wasn't gonna be enough time, but the light's getting, you know, later and later. Okay, so I'm absolutely loving this. Um, you know, he, he had the, 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 the chestnutty, colors in there and the and the purple and um, and then of all things in the corner like the if you look at the album in the right corner he had a little bit of pink in there and it was totally me iha so um, I'm gonna go there next with um, let me see I am going to take um, the eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna put a little at my drama point which is right here and again, you know, this is not blended yet, but just wait. <laughs> okay, now I, now I am going to blend it. All right. Wow, is that a pretty, check that out. Isn't that a pretty combination? All right, well, I'm not done yet. I'm quite warm out here. <laughs> Uh, so, I am going to take um, my detail brush and I'm going to dip it to, into the Sabrina and I'm going to put it on the inner corners of my eyelids like this, okay, and a little bit of my tear duct like that, yep, and then I'm going to just this time I'm just going to get it right up here in the corner, like in the arch of my eyebrow. And I'm gonna do the same right here. And then just make sure I have enough. Okay, and I'm really liking that. I'm doing a lot of blending because it's humid and yeah, I kind of need to. All right, so I am just going to take my detail brush and continue some color underneath my eyes and I'm going to go with the as if, and I'm gonna bring it down though with a little bit, I'm gonna mix it with a lullaby just to you know, make it not so shocking purple. And I'm just going to make it meet up with the other color on my eyes. So there we go. I like that a lot. Okay, so as if, lullaby, and yeah. All right, so you could totally leave it like this, but this is looking so gorgeous to me. Um, I'm gonna do a little lining now, and I'm going to use my um, Marc Jacobs Waterproof Eyeliner. I love this stuff. It, um, it stays on so well, but the, I love the creamy formula. Um, it goes over all my like, lines and creases, and, and it just, like it's a cream, it's so easy to apply. It doesn't drag or tug on the eyes. And I just make a simple line and I make it meet up with my eyelashes. So it's not very difficult. It's actually very easy because it's so creamy. And you'll see how fast I apply it. And get right there into the lash line. And if you want to have it a little more blended, you very, very, very quickly take your detail brush before it sets and, you know, smoky it in there like that. Okay. And then I'm also going to do it on the other eye.
and I'm gonna grab that detail brush again and blend it in a little bit. Okay, so I'm totally loving this look. And let me shut my eyes for a second so you can get a good look. It's really pretty. I mean, who would think purple and ginger and the Iha together? It's, it's really gorgeous. I love it. I just, uh, in fact, I think, let me just put a little more of, uh, a little more of that Mi Iha so you can really see it coming in. And then I'm also going to do a little bit of, I, come, I came up just a little high there and I, you know, I corrected that. Okay, so yeah, and I'm gonna blend, but not too much because I'm really liking this. Okay, so this is really, really pretty, really unusual, and um, I'm an artist and I love things like this. So um, I'm not done until I line my eyes with my um, Stila um, Jet Black Waterproof Eyeliner. It's liquid. Um, I really love it and um, it stays it stays on with my photography work. So let's just do that. And um, I know I've told you this trick all the time, but don't, don't do it like a pencil. Do it um, horizontally, and I'm just gonna do it right now so you can see what I'm doing. And it's easier to do it before you have um, mascara on, but I'm just gonna go dab, 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 like that. And then I'm gonna flip it And then look at that beautiful precision line. I like it and it complements the little ring around my eyes and creates a pattern repeat, which photographers love. <laughs> All right, let me just do it with the other eye. Again, get under those mascara lashes. Dab, 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 dab. And flip. And dab, dab, dab. All right. And that's, that's all there is to it. So uh, let me just take my blush and bronzer brush. And um, I don't think I really have any fallout here, but Oh, maybe a little. <laughs> I'm looking a little purple on there, running as if, but that's okay. Oops, and I, yeah, I just got into that a little bit, but that's okay. So you can just fix it. Okay, so um, yeah, that's the final eyeshadow look. So take a nice look at it now. I'm going to shut my eyes. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I hope you enjoyed it too. Okay, beautiful women. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, you know, I love doing it. I love the inspiration for it. I love the, um, you know, the inspiration from the album and from the nature behind me. And um, I love, I love this time in the evening, even though it's really hot and humid and everything out here. I really enjoyed shooting this for you and showing you this really beautiful look of purple and ginger and pink and um, yeah I really liked it so hey if you enjoy content like this um, don't forget to click like and subscribe and then to hit the bell for notifications um, yeah I know a lot of you watch this on your televisions and you can't do that but I'm new here I'm just getting started and I would really, really appreciate it if you'd go back into your electronics and hit, um, you know, hit the subscribe button and the notification button. Um, just go to your phone, your tablet, your laptop, and um, it would really help support me and I would really appreciate that. And I also want to tell you too that, um, yeah, I want to be your artist and, uh, yeah just there is a link below and you just have to click that and it will take you into a questionnaire and you just answer the questions and it comes straight to me 
and there's a little picture showing you how to um, take a selfie, a naked face selfie with your neck showing, just your neck, that's all I need to see from here to here, no makeup, natural light, and you send that to me at eloquentlyemmy at gmail.com and um, you will receive a beautiful um, full um, makeup description of your own personal colors to your, your own unique skin tone and it will go through everything. It will have pictures of the products, um, how to apply them, a face map, uh, written instructions, and then my own special instructions to you based on some of the things that you tell me in the questionnaire. Okay, and oh, I almost forgot. Um, you know, with this blouse, it's so human now too. I just wanted to tell you really quickly about the, um, the Saint Two Perfumed Illuminator in Rose Gold. Uh, it looks like this, and I'm gonna put some on right now. This is where you would put it, right here on your collarbone. And um, it's lovely. It doesn't interfere with your um, signature scent if you have one. Um, but it does provide, I mean, I'm really feeling luminous out here as it is with the humidity, but it does, you know, it gives you that really like sexy glow. Anyway, I love that. I'm very passionate about it. And um, with that being said, I just want to say always remember to wear your sunscreen and to live life passionately. And I'm going to share something now that I'm very passionate about. Hello everybody, this is Eloquently Emmy and I'm going to play a song from one of my favorite fiddlers, Martin Hayes, and it's called I Buried My Wife and Danced on Her Grave. It's an Irish fiddle song, which I love. I just love the sound of it. And um, yep, uh, I just uh, want to um, share it with you. So without further ado. Mm -hmm. 